So welcome to Eat Chit and Dice's very first video podcast coming to you from Comic Quest in Evansville, Indiana for International Tabletop Day 2017. Yeah, yep. it's 2017. Yep. 2017. 2017. 2017. <laughs> so uh, I'm Johnny, your favorite ginger host. Uh, I'm Jared, your favorite parts of my hair are ginger host. You're, you, there's nothing there, ginger there, in your there's, hair. There used to be, I mean, there still is some in the beard, but like all the gray is. That's gray, Jared. The gray is gray, yes, but like there's there's still some ginger in here. Um, anyway, my hair aside, we are here, <laughs> International Tabletop Day. So we're here to talk about games. We've got all these cameras. Um, we've got we've got our technical director who's off screen right now. Um, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll like put a, a little picture face of him up on our Instagram so you can see what he looks like. Um, I don't think he knows that we're doing that, but he's gonna find out. Um, We've got our, these fancy things. Oh, but the audio is real good with me dragging that. So John, do you want to tell, tell people about these and also, also these? So this is our brand new uh, lo Eat, Shit, and Dice logo. So you've seen our original logo, which was originally designed by my husband, Jeremy Soper, and then my friend, Max Holiday took that logo just completely Our discredit. Friend. Just completely discredit the the work that I did on the logo as well. Gosh. Well, we started with this funky logo. I'm not talking about that one. I'm not talking about that one. I'm, ta I'm talking about whenever I put the pizza, when I put the pizza in the letter. Anyway. Just anyway. But so Max Holiday did a lot of work to get our logo to where it is now. Thank you, Max. We are really happy with it. So now we have our new logo and it's on our super awesome t-shirts yeah. that we hope we'll be able to make available to our millions and millions of followers. They're called subscribers. Subscribers. And there are lovelies. Follow us here on YouTube and uh, we'll put links to uh, below here on all of our, we'll have Twitch channel soon. Actually, we have one now, have but one. there's really nothing on it. Don't go to but it. But we will, we do have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash eat chit and dice. Makes sense. Makes and sense. we will put links to all of our social media as well. And we also have some really cool merch today from our sponsor, uh, Daft Concepts. Which is where this came from. Which is where this came from. And there's also some other stuff that's um, that's over there right now that, that we'll... We'll show off today. We have an overhead camera and we'll do all that we'll fancy fanciness. Really cool so we thought we would start the day off by giving you an update on our 10 by 10 challenges with these really cool... 10 by 10 boards, which we've talked about on some of our earlier podcasts. Now, so, okay, so Johnny, so Johnny, um, I did not want to do a 10 by 10 update until after Geekway because we're going to do a lot of playing at well, Geekway. Well, we can do a little bit of we can, we can do, we can, we got to show these off. I know, because they're so we gotta cool. We got to show these off. They're uh, amazing. And Max Holiday also designed this one specifically for our logo. We lost our director. Our director's gone. I don't know where he is. <laughs> he, he got super bored. <laughs> He's gone. So anyway, um, so these are our these are our ten by ten boards that Max Holiday designed, and uh, they're made by Daft Concepts, our sponsor. You too can have a ten by ten board from Daft Concepts. You go to their Etsy store. We'll put a link in the comments below. Um, and you the can video use description is what the, she means. I yes. did not know what she was talking about. The video description. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. I'm an old lady. I'm sorry. So anyway, we'll put a link there, and yeah. you can use a very special code. What is it? it what is, is the code? Eat chit and die ten. You use that code for ten percent off. Like a singular die, not yes, dice. Not dice. Um, okay. So, so Jared, tell me about where you're at on your ten by ten. Okay, so uh, you know, I'm not not necessarily embarrassed about my pro progress here because I've been playing a lot of games, um, just not necessarily the ones that are, are on this list. Uh, and that's okay. That's fine. Um, we're going to be playing all of these games at Geekway. Uh, I'm pretty much only taking games that are on this list. Um, so Pandemic, which I've told people many times is my all-time favorite board game, has not been really getting a lot of attention. But now that I've played it, I'm really ready to play. Now, Pandemic, for yeah. your 10 by 10 purposes, yeah. does it matter what, what version of um, it you're playing? Yeah. So actually, I've played the dice version of Pandemic. Seven, six, seven times. 
um, but it doesn't count. Well, it, I'd like to play pandemic. the Cthulhu version. Would that count? N technically, no, because oh, okay. well. it has different mechanics. Oh, okay. If it were just the exact same game with a different paint, oh, okay. then okay. yeah. Well, like, I'll play the regular like one. The difference between the like playing. Oh, I don't know. If you have Monopoly on your 10 by 10, do you play Cars Monopoly, and then you play Star Trek Monopoly, don't and play then you Monopoly. play regular Monopoly? I mean, don't play Monopoly. But, don't play Monopoly. But don't ever. You could argue it's all Monopoly. Don't but, ever play Monopoly. We will not talk to you if you play Monopoly. Wow. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's technically a different game. The Cthulhu one has some different mechanics, technically a different game. We can play the Cthulhu one. No problem playing the okay. Cthulhu one, but it's technically not... You know, it won't qualify. Okay, got it. So I've got one log to play. Um, Scoville also has one log play, even though I think it has, I think it's actually more than that. I think I just didn't log one. I'll have to go back and, I'll have to go back and look at my BGG plays. I think I just didn't track it correctly. Um, Alien Frontiers has two plays. Uh, you played that. Yes. You played that, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Remember, because that's when I, uh, I, just, I saw the Pete monsters. No, 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 that's Cosmic Encounters. Oh, Alien no, Frontiers we played Alien Yahtzee Frontiers. One. Yeah, I liked that one, too. We played that a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cosmic Encounters, have, have, technically haven't, haven't played it since we started logging these for the 10x10, 10 10, uh, but we need to do that. Uh, we're going to be we playing have. that at Geekway. No, we played it in December. We played no, that in not December. not if we mind. We played it in January. Oh, well, it, that was before I posted the list, so I can't count that. Um, Legends of Vondor, I played with Kat. Uh, we played the intro mission so that I could teach her how it works. I'm Cat's playing. his pretty girlfriend. She's she's over there. She'll be joining us later. Um, wow, you really you're really throwing off my groove here uh, with that. With you. put your phone on mute. Put your phone on mute. What are you doing? Silence your phone, please. Um, so we'll be playing. I'll be teaching you guys the legendary Legends of Andor the uh, the introductory mission. We'll be playing that. Formula D. I don't know when we're gonna play this. Is we're gonna have to pick this up in the back half of the year. Um, I want to do like, I want to do this as like, as a Grand Prix, and I've got rules for that. They're actually on our website. I posted them like four years ago before I was using so that under website. Under organized play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I posted that a long time ago before I was using. You know, the I honestly for the wondered why we had an organized play. Um, well, so originally on our on our on our page. <laughs> originally, that website was my going to be my board game blog. Okay. And then I was like, let's do a podcast. I don't need to come up with a name for this podcast because I will just use my board game blog name. Uh, and if you're a really internet detective sleuth, you'll notice that the registration on eatchitanddice.com doesn't match up with that story. It's because, and I think this is also why our sponsor tag is incorrect, it used to be Eat Chit and Die, singular, but I thought that was kind of harsh, so we, we, ch we decided collectively to change it. Um, so Formula D, we'll have to pick that up. Last half of the year, police precinct, which I think you're swapping something. Oh, you did. You already I did. did. I did. You already you, did. You skipped Flashpoint. Did I skip Flashpoint? Oh yeah, I did skip. We've been playing. The cat and I've been playing that. Um, we'll we'll probably finish that just her and I. But you know, if you want to play a game of it, we can play a game of it. Is it like a fireman? It game? is a fireman game. I really like. For some reason, I really like that kind of thing. I like I, fireman yeah. games. I like police, police games. games. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe okay. it's because I know I can never do it in real life. <laughs> um, but okay. yeah, we've been playing that. Uh, you know, it has a lot of maps, and there's a new Kickstarter coming out sometime later this year. Okay. He announced it in their newsletter that there was more coming. Uh, where am I here? Oh, Camel Up. Camel Up. Actually, we're going to be playing Camel Up today, so we this are. this will go up by one because we've with, got with a piece from our sponsor. We've got a camel, a camel, a pyramid uh, from Daft, Daft. Concepts. Uh, allegedly, it will hold the weight of a grown adult man? Which we'll try after we play, just, yeah. in case, just in case it won't. But we'll try it, and if it works, we'll post a picture. Yeah, we'll post a video, actually. Yeah, I we'll mean. post a video, we'll try it. But we want to play with it at least once, just in case it doesn't really work. And then Sheriff of Nottingham, we were going to play today. I forgot to bring it. Wah, wah. I could send I could send someone to get it. Um, if we really wanted to, we could go. We, we do have it. It's the International Tabletop Day, and we'll 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 show some pans of the store. The store is it's early in the day, and the store is already full of people and full of games. So yeah. we'll probably have plenty to play even without Sheriff, if not. Yeah, him, yeah. Um, I think that's all of them. I think I talked about all of them. Oh, what do you got? Well, let's see. I um, start mine out with London Dread. Um, a fairly complicated game, but I love it. I absolutely love the game. I have yet to have an actual uh, valid win. 
But uh, I only have two plays. And I'm looking forward to getting more plays in, so it's definitely going to go to Geekway and hoping to get at least one or two plays yeah, in yeah. at Geekway. Um, Turtles, Shadows you, of the you Past. You're really close to finishing that one. I am getting really close. I'm up to eight plays on that one. That's on my casual 10 by 10. Yeah. But it's not on my yeah. hardcore. It's on I, I my hardcore. I should just put it on the hardcore. And I didn't I'm know super we were excited. I'm super excited about it. And we're going to get a play in of that today. These smell really good. If you guys order these. Oh, <laughs> what's that? that Nice wood burning smell. These are laser cut, so. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, so we're gonna get, I'm gonna get a nice one. Burger Up. So, Burger Up's kinda hard to get a hold of now. I believe, um, I think So it's can going get back it. into distribution. I've seen some online stores yeah, yeah. that have it, the and cool they're not sponsors, so I don't wanna talk about them, wink, wink. Um, but yeah, it's it's starting to go, get back miniature into, market yeah, had miniature market last time I looked. Okay. Yeah. So you should start being able to get it, yeah. and I highly recommend the game. It's really a great game if to play. If possible, you should support your local game support store. Support your local game but store. But if it's not possible, Miniature Market had some in stock when I looked two days ago. But it'll be coming back ago. in stock. So, t so ask your local game store to order some burger up, and they will get it in for you, and play it. It's super fun. You'll love it. Um, next, I have Terraforming Mars, which I only recently picked up, but I haven't, so I haven't gotten any plays in. But I do plan, just like some of Jared's, uh, like Formula J. Formula J. I do plan on getting plenty of plays of that one in, especially in the back end they, of the see, year. It used to be DE, but then when they re-released it, well, they probably re-released it for Stupid Americans. Formula so we can say D. Formula D. But uh, yeah, so Terraforming Mars, I plan on getting lots of plays, and it's going to go to Geekway with us. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, Star Trek Five Year Mission. I've only got one play in, in, in it. It, it's, it's, it. Admittedly, it's not like the most exciting game, but I love Star Trek. If you, it's a, it was an all right. It was all right for a dice game. I will post right. a close right. up of my board. Um, my my friend Max, um, special for me, put little um, yeah. Star Trek insignias. He was gonna put little farts on. Mine. He was. He was gonna put <laughs> farts on. He didn't do it. But he didn't. But he put Star Trek insignias on my meeples just for me, and I, I seriously squealed when I saw them, um, when, they, when I got them out of the box, I was so excited. So um, I had to have at least one Star Trek game on here. So Star Trek Five Year Mission, I've only got one play, but it's a, it's a really easy game to play, and I don't have any doubt that I will, ha I will get my yeah. plays in. Um, Police Precinct, I switched that one in. Yeah. In place of, I think, my other Star Trek game, because nobody would play it with me. So. What, what else? The deck building game? Star the deck building game. game. Mm -hmm. I really love the deck building game, but I can never get anybody to play it with me. So, Police Precinct is a great game, and I know I'm going to get my 10 plays in for that. So, I've only got one right now, but it'll happen. Scoville, um, I know that I'll get that in, even though I've got one play right now. Takanoko. Um, so, your secret, I am probably going to pick up a giant version of Takenoko, and I don't know where I'm going to play it because it certainly won't fit in my house, but I want to play giant Takenoko. I mean, the panda bear is so adorable. So, 10 plays with giant Takenoko. Uh, yes, please. Um, Spurs, A Tale in the Old West. Um, Jared and I have talked about how much we love the art in that yes, game. Yes, yes. So you can listen to, I don't even remember what episode that it was. The first episode? We've talked about it a couple of times. times but yeah. We absolutely love that game. So it's just a matter of getting it back out to the table. Yeah. I think when we finish up Turtles, it'll be easier to get some of these other games, yes, other games yes, to the table. Yes, because we kind of have a commitment. Um, yeah, we've because Turtles isn't exactly a legacy game, but it kind of is. And so we've made that commitment. Yeah, and we'll talk about that in, um, we, we've got an episode sort of planned for doing for campaign, campaign and legacy games. games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and actually, um, we're going to be playing Turtles today. Yes. At, uh, on the stream? Yes, yes. Allegedly, we, we Allegedly. I, I swindled a guy. We, we swindled a guy. <laughs> yep. And then uh, Cosmic Encounter. I've got yes. um, allegedly one play, maybe not. I have to check and see the dates. Well, okay, so you're doing, your 10 by 10 is not Mine's not the a hardcore, hardcore one. So the hardcore one, you post the list and then count the plays. Yeah, I need to check the play, because if it was in December, it won't count. Um, so I need to check the date, but I think I've got one play of Cosmic But that is, that is the game that I taught you how to play the game. Yes, and I... But it just, I hadn't officially finalize my list. Yeah, so I but I'm super excited it. to play it again because I want to play the Peep people. Yeah, I don't remember what they're called. We, we, we've been over this. <laughs> we've been over this, but they look like Peeps. They look like evil Peeps. And I can't wait to play them. So, um, hope that you enjoy watching us throughout our Tabletop Day video and hope that you enjoyed playing um, games on Tabletop Day as well. Let us know in the comments what you did for Tabletop Day. Yeah, so we're going to take a break now. We're going to get some stuff set up, 
and then we're gonna get back to this. Yeah. Hopefully in soon. just a few minutes to you. <laughs> yeah, for you it'll be like clicking the next video. For us, we gotta set up. We're gonna socialize and stuff. Yeah. Maybe ask a few questions, interview a few people, get some likes, comments, subscribes. You know, you know how it is. Where's our director? I don't know where he is. <laughs> well, I don't know. He's on the phone somewhere. Um, well, it's fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Um, so what, what, what else, what all do we have on the table for today? We've got Camel Up, Potion, Potion explosion, explosion, Turtles. Turtles, Castle Panic. And that's it. Crokinole? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that's really all we need. Plenty. Yeah. But, um, you know, we might pick up. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bean footage? You don't remember those commercials? Bean footage? <laughs> see, bean she knows footage? what I'm talking about. Really? Bean footage? Don't I don't need to see this video. Why is she texting you from over there? She's sending me pictures of us doing this. Well, that is not us doing this. That is me staring directly. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. Like I'm really, I'm staring directly into it because I saw her. I saw her. This one's it. much better. Yeah, that one's a little bit better. Oh, and you can see our. Yeah, we'll, we'll post this. Show, show them. Oh, you show can them. see our director. Show, where is he? Is, this, is that him, Spider Man? Okay. Yeah, our Spider-Man's up Spider there. Spider-Man's Spider -Man's up there. Should we should we hit stop on all these? Cars? Oh, we'll just we'll just we'll just, uh, wait for him we'll to just come keep back. going and uh, we'll just roll with it because that's what you do in live productions. You just you just roll with it. You just roll with it. These are really nice. These are really nice. I know. This They're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. So he did this part custom for us, obviously, because it has our logo on it. Um, but I was expecting them to be like. Like this big, like this like big, way smaller. When you saw them, you were like, "Oh my god, yeah, they're yeah, so big!" Yeah. That's what she said. See, normally, normally, the, I would have edited that out. Would have just completely taken that out. Um, so the nice thing about these, I like these. They can hang, or they—they obviously they have a stand because that's what we're using right now. And they have these little these little guys here. Oh, I don't know if I can take this back out. No, once it's been put in, um, they've got like a, ooh. I can. Ooh, yeah, mine's a little tight. Um, but it's like a little uh, like a little tray for your marker. I don't want to keep my. I mean, I don't really need to keep my marker with it. Mm. I think it's a good tray. Like you know, if you put your meeples there, because you have extra meeples too. Yeah. Like yeah, they extra send meeples, you, they send you a couple you of extra some. meeples if you lose some. Yeah. And eventually, there, there is talk of them doing some custom meeples. Obviously, they can customize the meeples. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've got little Star Trek. Um, I will post a picture, a close-up picture of the Star Trek Star Trek symbols because yeah. they're super. Yeah. We'll post it on cool. post it on Instagram. We'll tweet it on Twitter. On and we'll book it on Facebook. <laughs> is that, is that, is that what the book it on are? Facebook. Book it on Facebook. Tweet it on Twitter. Twitter. Instagram uh, it on Instagram. You gotta Instagram that that cash stack. What do they? How do they say? What do they? Stack load. Cash stack. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nobody wants to be interviewed by us. Um, we'll, we'll force some people to be interviewed. Um, there's. Some we'll prizes another, up for grabs, actually. We'll make another. Like, I know you guys are watching this probably at home, probably we'll do way it. later. So but today here at Comic Quest, we're giving away a copy of Castle Panic. Yes. Unfortunately, that 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 ship has sailed. We've probably it. already given it away. However, once we hit 150 followers, we like, are that, going to. Was that combined or on? Um, I will do 150 followers for, like, if when we hit 150 on Facebook, we'll do a giveaway. When we hit 150 on Twitter, we'll do a giveaway. Okay. When we hit 150 on Instagram, we'll do a giveaway. When we hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'll eat this board. A man ate an airplane. You heard that, people. <laughs> heard that, people. So, when we, hit, when we hit 150 subscribers, we will do some good games, some, some fun game giveaways, and, you know, maybe we'll do some promo giveaways. So, share us, and like us, and comment, and... Do all that fun stuff. Smash that, smash that subscribe smash, button. Yeah. <laughs> that's what the, smash it, smash it, smash it. That's what the kids it. are saying these days. Smash it, that subscribe I'm button. I'm an old lady. Well, so I, I guess YouTube recently changed how something works. Um, because now everybody's all about, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also, click the little notification button. I don't yes. know. Yes. 
I don't know. So you can be notified when we post new videos. Yes, because I have down below. Check check the link down below. Check the link down below. Other videos here. And here. For more, click follow the click. That's what YouTube videos are. Well, and today, and this video today we'll to be, be really excited to have my daughter, who's from another YouTube channel. <gasps> did I did I feign surprise well enough? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, and and her channel actually has like hundreds of subscribers. Oh, hundreds, Ooh. hundreds. Hey, our director's our back. Our director's back. We can actually stop the yeah, cameras now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, so we now <laughs> we are gonna take that break. <laughs> and get some, get yeah, we some know. Stuff, get some stuff set up, and then we'll be right back. <laughs>